I got to sleep in a few places over the years during my travels. This is the last one. I'm in Petaluma in California back in the US. They're usually just quick stops on my way to somewhere else, but I like to consider them as another opportunity for photography. In this video, I'm gonna try to convince you once again to embrace photography no matter where you are, no matter what you are doing. I'm gonna show you a lot of images that I made from those places where I got to sleep. As you all know, photography plays a big role in my life. It is a lifestyle for me. What I mean by this is that I don't wait until I go on a photography trip to a somewhere special to take photos. I always have a camera with me as any moment could be a great one to make a good image. I believe that this approach has led me to make more good images, to enjoy photography more because I can do it at any time from anywhere, to improve as a photographer because I'm always in the lookout for a new photo, for a new image, so I'm always training my eye and to enjoy my day-to-day, -day, my everyday life a little bit more because for me photography is a lot of fun. That's why I try to do photography as often as I can, every day if possible. And that, of course, includes uh, doing photography, taking photos from the places where I get to sleep. Those range from very nice houses like the one we are staying at these days to just sleeping in the car or in a tent camping in the wilderness. I consider all of those places my bedroom. All of the images I'm about to show you were made within just a few feet from the exact spot what I laid for the night. I've selected a few images that I believe showcase or prove the point that I'm trying to make here. Now, we could be here for hours, for days. I could show you hundreds of images. From all of those places where I got, where I get to stay. And because I try to do photography as often as I can, because I do photography almost every day, most of it is done at the places where I spend most of my time, and that is where I live, where I sleep. As I said, that includes campsites like this one in Oregon, or this one in South Dakota. I spent the night in my car during a blizzard, and when I woke up, I had these amazing conditions. This is the same place, this is just the bathroom next to my car where I was staying. This is another example of a photograph I took from the car, this time in the North Cascades in Washington. Uh, I took it in the middle of the night. There was a light in the campground, campground where I was staying. This uh, one from the beautiful Cottonwood Canyon in Oregon. Uh, that was the uh, back window of the car uh, where I was sleeping, and that was a sunrise. You can see the sun rising behind the clouds there. But these are the kind of obvious ones because I was camping, a beautiful location, so of course I got a lot of chances to uh, take good photographs at those spots. But now I'm going to show you a lot of images that I made from hotels, motels, apartments, houses, whatever. Places where I was not exactly expecting to take good photos, but I ended up making some of my favorite images from there. And this one is a very good example. I took this one in Chicago, Illinois, from the window of uh, the, the hotel room where uh, we were staying. I have a print of this uh, photo, and I included this photo in my uh, photo book as well. I have a couple of other images that I made that same day from that same window. It's just a different perspective from the same room, as you can see. But the one that I showed you before, that one was uh, the one that caught my attention, caught my eye. I am so glad that I, I was paying attention and I had my camera ready there to, to make this. More examples, this was made from the Airbnb I was staying at in Madeira, Portugal. There was a storm in the distance and I was able to capture that line in there. More from Portugal, this time from the Algarve. This was another apartment where we were staying. I liked the architecture. I was also taking photos of uh, the buildings in front of uh, our apartment. This is an example. This is a long exposure of the uh, moon, full moon rising above all of those apartment buildings as well in the Algarve uh, curtain that I liked uh, in front of the window in Salt Lake City, Utah. 
This was a, a photo I took with the Rolliflex. This was on film uh, in Fort Bragg, California. Now a few from Innsbruck in Austria. These two were taken with a special lens that I, I spread some lotion in front of the uh, lens. I was just taking photos inside the apartment. This was uh, again from the, the same uh, apartment building in Innsbruck, Austria. This one in Portland, Oregon, another place where we stayed. This was uh, before uh, Halloween in the apartment where we lived for five years. This is a hotel in the middle of nowhere in Wolf Creek, Oregon. Another one from Bellingham in Washington. Another window from the a very cool Airbnb we got to stay at in Detroit, Michigan, in the very industrial part. I was very cool. This is the view from another of the uh, places where we stayed, this time in Italy. And this uh, was the, uh, the window, the moon window or whatever you want to call it in, uh, in Asturias, in the mountains. Uh, this was the balcony. It was an absolutely beautiful view, as you can see. Very thankful that I got to stay at all of those places. It's another example from a hotel in San Sebastian with a good view uh, of the ocean. This one in New York City didn't have the same kind of view, actually. It was a window with a wall just in front of it, nothing else. Uh, and it caught my eye. I thought it was very interesting. This is a hotel in Lone Pine, California, next to the Sierra Nevada. Beautiful place, one of my favorite places uh, to visit. And I just think that it's uh, we should play uh, with the elements like the hotel to, to, to add those elements to make the images interesting. This is another one I made at a hotel in Moab, Utah, and this was another Airbnb somewhere in the Oregon coast, but we just happened to have a huge redwood tree in front of the window and that obviously caught my eye. These were some of the photographs I took during my travels. Now I'm going to show you the photographs, the images that I try to make on an everyday basis because they are from the two places where I get to spend most of the time, and that is in Syracuse, Indiana, and in Monforte in Galicia. One is my wife's hometown, the other one is my hometown, and that's where we spend most of the time. And I take a lot of photos at those two places. So for example, this one is, a, a, we're gonna start with Indiana. This is inside the house. Just things that I happen to, to see, things that happen to, to, to catch my eye that I need to capture. This is the view from the uh, window. We have that beautiful tree. So this was in a foggy morning. Uh, this is the same uh, tree on a more clear day, but I like the reflection. This is uh, in the winter, the same exact tree. As you can see, I take a lot of photos of the the same things over and over and over because they keep changing and they always tell a very different story. That you can, that, that you can see in the background is the same tree, but now I included the American flag in the front. Again, the same tree, just with the uh, dock there, and uh, the same tree with a little uh, swan, a fake swan, uh, that is there on the, uh, at the shore. That is the same swan in the winter with the uh, frozen uh, canal there uh, another one in the winter and this one again of the, the same dock from the bedroom in the middle of winter after a big snowstorm this is one of my favorite images i've ever made and i made it from the bedroom literally three feet away from the bed where i slept that night this is uh, another dock the neighbor's dock but again from the same window and this one is the last one I want to show you from Indiana. It was a very foggy morning and the sun was uh, starting to rise and it was absolutely beautiful. Again, from the same window. Now let's look at the ones I made in Spain. This is the view that I have from my bedroom there. And there is this uh, very interesting, or I think it's a very interesting building because uh, I don't know. Uh, I find it very fascinating to have uh, nothing on that huge side of the of the building, but really tiny windows here and there. So I try to capture these in very different uh, lighting conditions uh, in the, during the day, during the night. And I have literally dozens of, of images of that building, as you can kind of see here at different times of the day with the, the lights on in different windows. And it's, it's, it's a, uh, a subject that fascinates me a lot, as you can see even uh, a little bit more uh, different. These are other buildings that I get to see every morning when I wake up. This was made during a rainstorm and this at, at night. 
an image I made in very similar conditions I had in Indiana the foggy morning with the sun rising as you can see the same is happening here and the same is happening here again the last photographs I wanted to show you were made very close to my hometown and my parents farm uh, during a few weeks that we got to, to spend there because of the uh, COVID lockdown back in 2020 and uh, I was just uh, taking photos of anything I could find there uh, from the, as you could see, the bedroom and the backyard to the animals. This is uh, uh, our dog, Shesta. This is an ant. And uh, of course, of the storks. We are lucky as well because we have storks around there. This one, I made this image with a telephoto lens from inside while I was having uh, breakfast. Another stork, another stork. I have hundreds of images of storks made during those days. I was wrong, very, very wrong. You see, nature was the reason why I got started in photography. It was those beautiful landscapes I was seeing, hearing and smelling that drove my photography for a long time. Even though I was documenting most of my life with uh, photos as well, I never thought of those moments as situations where I could create art. They were just snapshots. It took me a long time, but I finally got there. My mindset shifted, my approach to photography changed. I went from being a landscape photographer to an everything photographer, just photographer, period. It was the most profound change to ever happen to my photography. It opened a whole new world for me. I didn't have to wait to be somewhere. I didn't need to be somewhere to do photography. I could do it from anywhere at any moment. This is probably the only advice I could give to new photographers and is to do photography as often as you can. No matter where you are, just embrace it. You don't have to go to faraway lands to find beauty, but you can't forget to look for it. I hope the video was useful and now a quick thank you and a quick live update. Of course, I wanted to thank all of my patrons. I want to thank you for all of your support. All of this is uh, happening because of you. Today, I wanted to highlight the work of another photographer, a fellow photographer from Germany, Olaf. He's got beautiful images on his Instagram account, so please go check him out. I'm going to leave the link in the description down below. As for the live update, as you can see, I'm not in Spain anymore. I'm in beautiful California. We are here because of a wedding that we are attending tonight. This one has been a busy week, but next one I should be able to go out and visit, uh, visit some beautiful spots around here. So stay tuned for that. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.